What is up YouTube? Welcome back, Aeneas here. Uh, today we're going to try to do some standard events because uh, Ranked Ladder is already pretty much done. We, we hit Mythic, did pretty well. And uh, it's just a good chance to try to get some more of the play-in points to use in the tournaments. So yeah, let's see how the deck does on the standard event. All right, so uh, this is the deck we're going to be playing today. It's a blue-white control style deck with Tezzeret and Karn. And basically, you control the game and you get some uh, early artifacts down, like the Bank Busters and the Lanterns. And then you're going to use uh, Tezzeret to turn them into creatures, or Karn to uh, try to get his ultimate and use it to damage the opponent with damage. And also, since Karn is making these Power Stones, you can also use those with Tezzeret to make creatures. Uh, as well as you can pay mana to draw cards with Karn, which... Uh, is basically probably most of the time you're going to either be making the power stones to make creatures or drawing cards but if you get lucky enough to get the ult then you have enough artifacts to kind of like finish the game uh yeah the other cool synergy i guess is disruption protocol gets uh one mana cheaper if you tap an artifact so sometimes we'll get to tap our bank busters or lanterns to cast a spell for a little bit cheaper than normal and uh, we have the Rafine's Tower and Spar's Headquarters, so our Leyline Binding gets a lot cheaper, uh, which makes it a pretty efficient removal in this deck. And the rest of it's pretty much standard UI control package, so let's go ahead and get into some games. See you in a bit. Hello there. Before we get into the games, if you like this sort of content, please leave a comment and subscribe really means a lot to me and it helps my content creation going forward. But anyway, without further ado, let's play some magic. So this is a pretty good starting hand. We have both colors. We have uh, Lantern of the Lost at one mana, Bank Buster on two, and Tezzeret for top end. So I think it's pretty good. No removal, but we have a good shot to draw into it. Okay, depopulates a nice pickup. Uh, I think since we have two lanterns, I'm pretty cool to drop both. Uh, I mean, sorry, to drop one now and save one for later. Um, there's some advantage to doing that, so I'm gonna go for it. A lot of times you'll want to wait on the lantern, because uh, it has the enter battlefield trigger, so you can exile a uh, underdog with it. But I'm pretty cool to do it now, in case we draw the protocol. Ooh, Raven Man, interesting. So they're probably going to make me discard some stuff, so I should probably get my Bank Buster down now. Let's go for that. I guess we don't have mana left to draw, but next turn we can start drawing and making up for the discarded cards. And then, uh, usually you don't want to play your Planeswalkers until, like, pretty late in the game. So, we'll have to see about that, but, uh, yeah, basically, once you feel like you've got kind of a nice stable board, you can start to play some of the Tezzerets and the Karns and turn your artifacts into creatures. I even had one game where, like, I, uh, had nothing, like, no board, and then... I triggered two of my bank busters and turned one of my other artifacts into a creature and swung for a lethal all in one turn, so has some pretty explosive capabilities. Well, I'm not sure what's going on with the opponent. They might have DC'd or something because they just did nothing. Um, I think I'll just pass and draw a card. Okay, uh, yeah, I mean, that was not really a game, but I will take it because it's an event and every win counts. So, sweet, uh, one win, on to the next game. Okay, uh, so now we've got three lands, we go first, but I think that's okay. We have the third land, so. Uh, March of Otherly Light, good removal, to populate. Yeah, I think it's decent enough that we, and we go first, so let's give it a shot. I 
mean, everything's gonna come in tapped, but maybe it's fine. Alright, so they're some sort of blue, probably blue tempo deck. I think that means we should just get rid of this Delver immediately. Don't want to let them have counter magic or anything like that. We have the depopulate later for the uh, other creatures. Oh, that's unfortunate that they got a second one so quickly, but I suppose... I can try for the ley line now. They might have like slip out the back or something. But if I wait, then they have a good chance to have a counter spell, so... Okay, they just let it, they let it go. I felt, I felt a stick there, so I'm not sure if they had a draw spell or... Hexproof or something, but they seem not to care that much. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll play this so I can Wandering Emperor. Especially if they're gonna play like a Jin, Potty Jin or something. I want to try to get some board presence. Thirst for discovery, well, maybe I should just do it now while they're tapped out. It doesn't seem that bad. Anyone who harms my people must may your Like you you gotta take every advantage when their shields are down to try to do something. So you're gonna have a lot of counter spells in hand, for sure. Alright, I like seeing that. It means they don't have probably don't have their potty gin or they would have played it. We can start making our tokens bigger, I think. Maybe I even want to play the card right now. Yeah, let's just go for it. Maybe they'll bounce it. I'm trying to think, if I play the card now and the counter, like how sad am I? I'm a little bit sad. To play around some. What can I play around? <laughs> uh, but I guess I can. All right, I'll just hold up the other worldly light. Cause they could have like make disappear or something. I'll feel pretty bad if I play into that. Maybe they're gonna. No, they didn't bounce my creature. All right, there's the hottie gen. We can try to kill this, and then when they protect it, we can try to kill it a second time. If they do like make disappear here, or slip out the back, yeah, okay. So that means we can't use the board wipe, which is a little bit sad. It's also a 5 toughness now. This is almost assuredly gonna die, I assume. Alright, let's draw a card with, with Karn. I started this war, and I intend to finish yeah, let's just draw a card. Desperate times call for innovative Alright. And we'll take it. Now the question is, do we make a 4-4 or do we make another 2-2? Two, two? I think they have like the 5-5 five, five snake. So maybe having a 4-4 doesn't matter that much. But it goes through the hottie gins. I, I think I'll, let's make it a 4-4, even though Emperor's gonna die. Okay, two gins. If we get another land, we can protocol plus depopulate, which is kind of nice. 
Our swords will cross again. Okay, we didn't. Hmm, what to do here? Alright, I guess we still just attack. There's a reason not to draw. Alright, we got another land. Too bad we didn't draw that earlier. Ugh. Um, yeah, but I can try to depopulate here. They're, they're definitely gonna counter, right? I mean, if they don't counter, then my creature dies too. I think it's a net net gain, right? But the only downside is that the Audigens will get bigger when he counters. So there'll be a 5 and a 4. That's a lot of damage. But then next turn. Oh no, we can't do it next turn. Oh, maybe I should have made a Power Stone then. Let's play the Bankbuster, probably they'll counter this. And then next turn we'll try to populate with Disruption. Up. Unless, well, I don't know, if this gets countered or not, that's the question. Maybe I force this through or force them to have another counter spell? The creatures are still bigger though. Oh, we didn't need another land in order to counter and depopulate. Alright, I think I just let this get countered and hope I draw a land. Yeah, this is a really tough call. Alright. I think that's my best bet, so... Let's just see. Untap land, untap land here. Calculations. Gives us the best shot, I think. Oh, that's not untap land. Guess we can try again. another counter here. Oh. They left one mana up. Okay, I think I try to just sweep here. They probably have some sort of protection. But it's still my best bet. Another slip out the back, yeah, okay. Alright. We're still in the same spot. Relatively. At least we're not dying in one hit. Okay, untapped land is good. It means we can try to defend our board wipe. Okay, they don't have anything. Nice. 
And we can still hold a counter if they play Valerian Terror, yeah. Okay. Oh, maybe they also have counter. They didn't counter with a board wipe. What could they possibly... Unless they top deck it. Or maybe they have another Haughty Gen. Alright. It's not ideal. Taking at least five. And this card is gonna die, so I might as well... Pay three, I think? This is like, almost... Yeah, there's no way I can kill this creature, so... Let's pay three. Ooh, farewell. It's not great, but... It, I mean, it will... It, it probably will work. Alright. Unless they top deck a counter spell. Which they might. That works too. Maybe that's better. I can do it on their upkeep. Then I don't have to try to get this farewell through. Okay. Alright. So they're out of counter spells, it seems like. But now that I gave them some more draws, so who knows. Alright, Tezzeret, but <laughs> is it gonna get down? I mean, surely one of those cards was it? No? Okay. Uh, draw two discards, not great, but I guess I gotta do it. Sucks. But I think Farewell is just too good to throw away. Yeah. Because if I exile their graveyard, their gins get really small. So I think that's also pretty great. Alright, we got the Bank Buster. But I think I keep it and instead I play it. And get rid of these two lands. Okay, it resolves. Oh yeah, and you get a free... I forgot about that, you get a free activated with Tezzeret. Uh, the first one each turn is free. So I'll get to draw for free on their turn. That's pretty sweet. Oh, if I can get one of my lanterns, I can exile the graveyard as well, which is pretty sick. Oh yeah, all right. So that's like that's one of the big, amazing things of the deck is uh, you get to just destroy their graveyards and draw and get draws for free with your Tezzerites. Just amazing. Uh, all right, so we get a free draw here. Sweet, and then. Uh, whenever you tap an artifact, draw a card, oh, well, <laughs> uh, I guess I should have done that earlier, but maybe I'll just plus instead? I don't think they have a great way to stop my Tez. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's in their hand, but... We're pretty much winning now, uh, yeah, after that. Okay, so now we can get this emblem. And tap this, and we draw two cards. Alright, yeah, I guess I'll just do it again. I guess I already played my land for turn, so I'm gonna have to discard. So that was a little bit dumb. I was just too hyped to get the ult, you know? 
Like never happens. Uh, all right. What are we discarding? I got you, I guess. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So we got off the Tetherite ult. That's insane. Uh, this is pretty sweet. Oh yeah, Fading Hope. Uh, I think we can afford to counter one of these. And actually, I can tap my treasure. And when I do that, I draw a card. Oh, sorry, that was wrong. Yeah, don't do that to me on the tapper. <laughs> okay, so sweet. Now we draw a card for tapping the treasure. And we counter this. Okay, I'll let, I can let one other Fading Hopes go through, I think. As long as I can crew my creatures, my uh, bank busters, I should be in good shape. Right. Uh, yeah, I guess let's crew one. Can also try to find another Tez, maybe. No Tez. All right, I'll get rid of these two, and let's just swing in for four, I guess. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> Why do you draw so many cards this way? That's crazy. Yeah, we're, I was just making sure we're not going to be allowed or something. Oh, sheesh. Alright. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. Sweet! <laughs> we drew like half our deck because of the freaking <laughs> desert old. That's crazy. Uh, I don't know what happened, but uh, like why their deck stopped working. But we got our Tezzerite in there, and then that was just game after that, so... Deck worked out! Sweet! On to the next one. Yay! Uh, yeah, this looks... Uh, this will look fine? Yeah, I guess it's fine. Removal, counter, tank poster. Pretty... at least decent. It's a decent hand. Yeah, I think we keep it. Keep, keep, keep. Pretty decent. The new one of the new lands. That looks pretty cool. So I'm wondering if this is just straight up mono black we're gonna face. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, I can either Bankbuster or I can Faithful Absence this. I think we bank buster because if they play a lily, I want to be able to start drawing cards. And they don't have a good way to get rid of artifacts. Oh, there's a Rakdos. Okay. Red source. This is fine. We're still in okay shape. Obviously, them getting the free treasure is a little bit bad, but not that bad. And then. Yeah, if we had the Lantern of the Lost, it would be perfect, but maybe I can Leyline the Goblin Shaman? Or I can just Leyline the Underdog, I suppose. Alright, well, let's see what happens. Let me put a stop on my upkeep, because they play a Shieldred. I want to get rid of it. Let's hide Harvester. I think that's not worth countering. 
question is, am I worried about them getting an extra mana here? I think I should probably kill this shaman somehow. Maybe I leyline bind it, since... Yeah, this will probably get blown up later by their invoke if they have it. I'm be getting rid of it now. Makes sense. I think. And then when it gets blown up, they won't get anything back from it, so it's fine. If I did the underdog, then they'll get it back later, and I'd rather just find some of my exile, like farewell or something. So they did not... Ah, okay, perfect. But we, we don't have our fourth land, it's a little bit sad. But overall, that's pretty good. How do I want to play this? Maybe I just kill it and do it now? The reason to wait would be Invoke Despair. I can also try to draw for a land since I haven't got my land source. That's a little bit risky. Taking six. Alright, I mean I think I'm okay on a card advantage, so I'm just gonna do this now to be efficient. It doesn't mean they get to draw. Invoke, I'll take four and they'll draw two, which is not great, but not the worst. Oh, let me put another upkeep stop in case another shoulder. Okay, it was shoulder, nice. Thankfully we got our fourth land, that would have been bad. And I guess we hold up the counter spell. Doesn't mean that they get the Kiki Jiki, which is a little bit scary. Not much we can do there. Going down six, we're gonna be at five then. It's a little dangerous. Kinda need like a farewell. But we don't have enough mana for farewell, so I guess I just need a removal at this point. Oh, the name's the list. Oof. Oof. That's pretty bad. So no matter what, they're gonna get one off this next list. And I guess I gotta counter this, but that feels pretty bad. prevent the damage? I think I might have to. That feels bad. Yeah, I mean, Wash Away's not gonna win me the game anyway. Alright. Land is okay, but not really what... I need. To be honest, I don't know if there is anything. Depopulate would 
make me not die unless they got Invoke Despair. Okay, I mean, I guess I gotta draw for Depopulate then. Leyland Binding. Leyland Binding. If I get rid of the Kiki Jiki now, and then. They don't have anything <laughs> that does damage to my face, and maybe I survive. Alright, I guess I can try. Looking grim, it's looking pretty grim. Yeah, I have to do this card. I think I already used all my faithful absences. Okay, well, we're dead here. Alright, that's a shame. I think missing that land drop really hurt us. Could I have done anything differently? Maybe the turn where I killed the underdog was incorrect. Or the one where I didn't exile the underdog? Maybe. That's a tough call. It's hard to know. Alright, well, on to the next game. Okay, we got two lands, both taps, one of those first. We do have the board wipe and the removal. I think we can try it. Yeah, I mean, there's a good chance we'd get our fourth land for this. Doesn't matter that much. We have the lantern for after we kill the uh, underdog. Or if they just pump the sleeper a bunch, we can just kill it with our removal. I would love to see that. That sounds pretty nice. Uh, let's see. At most, this can become a 3 3 this turn, so I suppose we can wait. Do this. Then we'll have a counter spell up for the third turn if we need to. Underdog, okay. Cool with that. Taking probably six here, I would guess. They're just gonna pump and that's it. Can maybe just kill the uh, sleeper if that's what they go for. Make them commit a little bit more. So now the question is, do I want to go for Karn here? Guess I should just keep holding up Counterspell. I could like invoke this bear or something. Or even Shoulder it, I probably want to counter Shoulder it.
other option is to populate on my turn and lantern. But then I'm taking two from Shieldred. Uh, taking two from Shieldred and if they invoke to spare me, I'll take six. I guess it's not that bad though. I'd be down at two. Mm. Or I could counter this, take three, save my depopulate for later. That's good, that's a good draw. Then we can we can still play this and still have a for counter spell. Uh, I mean if they invoke here it's a little bit bad. Soren. That doesn't matter which way I do it, I guess. All right. Okay, binding is not terrible either. I hate to kind of use it on this underdog, but maybe I maybe I got to. I can see what this is. Oh. Okay. That's big. Alright. I think I'm gonna take it, and this destruction will be for Invoke Despair. Trespasser! That's that's tough. <sighs> Cause I think I have to depopulate now, but then I'm gonna die to invoke. I think I gotta go shields down for just one turn. Even if I use this counter spell, right? So, all right. Shield sound for one turn. Hope I don't die. Wow, actually, that was kind of a mistake because they should have pinged me for one. <gasps> oh, but I'm one mana short of that. I think it's still about the same though. Probably I'm dead to invoke here. Dang it. Only had a little bit more mana. I got the land. I got the fifth land. I'm definitely dead here. Yeah. Darn. Okay. How could I play that differently? There was some way I could have won that for sure. Maybe I leave this sleeper alive and I kill. I should have killed the uh, underdog instead. I could have exiled it like three turns sooner. Probably that was my mistake. Yeah. Okay. Well. Let's keep going, you never know, we can still make it there. Okay, looking at this hand... Looks okay to me. Three lands, not all tapped. Some early game plays. 
Uh, yeah, I'm keeping this one. Phoenix Chick. Okay. Uh, I think this hand is probably actually pretty good against red. Nothing to do on turn one, though. I mean, we can play that, but it doesn't really do anything. So let's play tap land. Fire brand. Uh, okay, we can almost play that ley line. Not yet, though. I guess we're probably gonna march and kill this, or uh, exile this Phoenix chick. Then maybe the turn after that we'll bind something. Okay, another Phoenix chick. Adversary. Could exile a white to get rid of this. I think, I think we're just... I mean, that is a lot of damage. So we're gonna take six. If I exile a chick, or I could get rid of the one of the ley lines now, get rid of the Rada, I guess. I think we're gonna want them though. So let me think about this. So we're gonna take six, and then next turn we're gonna take at least. So nine. So then we'll have nine health left. Maybe a little bit less. Okay. I guess I'm gonna try. I, I, maybe I'm supposed to exile one of my bindings here or something. Okay, Fateful Absence, not terrible. I don't think that changes my play though. I'm trying to wreck everything I touch, push it in my we have to hope the Wandering Emperor health gain is enough to compensate. I invoke a hate capital, speak integrity and work radical. Elemental down to basic functions, my armor keep it tense and like constant. Conducting experiments and logic for my damage. Dorado. Might they might just have two lightning strikes on hand or something. Okay, that's totally fine. Um, do I want to wandering emperor that? I guess I do. That does give them the chance to play extra cards and do damage to me. So like the safer play I guess is to play like find it now. Yeah, I guess so. And I'm gonna go ahead and play a lantern just for no reason, but so I can draw soon with it. Alright, uh, so shield's down for us, and then we have to hope to survive at least this turn and next turn. Do they just have two lightning strikes? Are we dead? I'm not sure what they're thinking about. Okay, Rada. And what they do, they 
feel like they have a lightning strike or something similar in hand. So it's tough to know. I guess we just make a 2 2 here. And then I'll kill something and activate my lantern. So I guess I should play this as well. That's fine. Okay. Excel this, so I figured I need to do it. Probably, probably should, that was not worth. I like, give them a draw, and like I might need that in a second for another creature. Okay, well, farewell is not terrible. I guess I play the car here. My legacy will be one of peace. We need answers. Could be dead. Could be dead. Stereophonic sound for dance music. It's different way. Chandra. Gross. Don't block anything. I lose the card. I deal two to Chandra. I take two. And I exile all the creatures. Then Chandra is still alive, dealing damage every turn. Did I use all my? No, I didn't. Draw though. Yeah. Play line binding, I guess. Right. I think I need the line, so I just gotta do that. Okay, I can do this. I can wait. Hold up this counter spell. in the farewell now. But Chandra's still alive, which is the dangerous part. I could lantern. Alright, let's 
Lantern now. or something. I think I just gotta cycle this land and hope I can get something. We're prob probably dead. That seems pretty bad. Land. Okay. That's not enough. Hmm. I guess I'm dead. Or unless I got like a. No, I don't have another one ramper in here, right? Just dead. All right, it's over. Dream is over. The deck is fun, but uh, not good enough, I guess. Strangely enough, I was doing well on the rank ladder, but yeah, this event did not go very well. Sad. All right, well you saw it here. Games were fun, pretty close overall, but uh, not quite good enough, so there you go. Uh, that's going to be it for this video, so until next time, see ya.